I've been professional in boxing since September 2021. That's when I um, received my licence. The journey has been quite a, a, an exciting one. Um, it's been, there's been highs, there's been lows, but I think that makes you a true athlete, you know? I think me going through what I did in terms of having to wait for my licence, um, train consistently, not having a date, not having a platform, and I still managed to train consistently. Um, it was hard, it was tough, but I managed to get through and I truly believe that shaped me to who I am leading up to my debut. And to be honest, for myself, it couldn't have gone any better. So management wise, I am signed with 258 Management. Um, that is Anthony Joshua's management and yeah, they guide my career. We share the same vision and I'm looking forward to elevating as a team. It's been really good working with uh, such an established management. Um, like I said previously, we share the same vision and I know that on my journey, they are going to guide me um, in the correct way. They don't play us. Look at my fabric. Way up. Mixed with action. Play us. I had this atlas. Way up. I got a passion, yeah, play us. I got a passion, full static, ready young go. Uh, don't let it unfold. Be smart if you're ready, let's roll. Feeling like this, you never get in my zone. That's me, man, I'm standing on my own. Yeah, so I was looking forward to that media day. I've always watched other boxers do theirs and I finally got to do mine. And I got there, done some interviews, and then when it was my turn to get in the ring, it was just, I forgot about everything and everyone on the outside. Just went in, displayed my skills in shadow boxing. Then my coach come in and we'd done some pad work and it was just electrifying, you know, you had all the cameras and lights. And I think I needed that leading up to the debut because obviously being out the ring for two years, uh, it was nice to get in a ring um, with outside public there. But yeah, it was wonderful. I got out of the ring, then I spoke to Adam Smith and Johnny Nelson. And yeah, it was, it was just a great experience. It's for the YouTube gem. Hey Cam. What's going on the YouTube? Oh, yeah, I'm filming for the YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> How are you feeling anyway? Yeah, no, I'm feeling good. Um, the yeah. ITV news, we went to the O2 store first and then straight to the charge up gym for another like it was still ITV news but they wanted to capture both, like at work and not at work. And then Hold on, it's press conference today. Yeah, twelve thirty. Shit. Can you not Where swear for the younger viewers on the channel? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where is it? Box Park Wembley. Oh, I'm never going to make it there in time. Yeah, but I'll, I'll the way in tomorrow though, 12.30. Well, you got your stuff going on. You are? Um, the way in's tomorrow, but you've got your stuff going on, haven't you? Yeah, I know. Otherwise, I would have done. No worries. Saturday night it is. Okay, girl. All right, then. You go do your thing. <laughs> you go do your thing. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, that was my first one, and I was so excited. But then, obviously, when it got to the speaking part, my heart was out of my chest with excitement. But I think what made me stand out is a lot of the boxing world or community as such don't really know who I am. And I feel like I got to display who I was through talking and what I want to do in, in, in boxing. And I think that got portrayed very well. Um, and yeah, it was just an exciting time for that to be my first press conference and for it to go well. Kickboxing world, we know that you've got plenty of, of ability, we know that you've got a lot of hunger. What can you bring the, the boxing world? Because obviously this is a wonderful time for the female boxers. Oh yeah, it's definitely a wonderful time and I think it's a good time to be involved. But what I'll be bringing will be intelligent boxing. Um, you're going to see good defence, good footwork and good IQ for boxing. And is the ambition to, uh, to go the whole way? Do you believe you will become a world champion or is it just step by step? 
Um, step by step for now, but I do believe I can be a multi, uh, multi-weight world champion. Fantastic. Shannon Ryan on the bill. I really enjoyed it. I love talking to the camera, talking to the public, uh, as well as the boxing. I like to do it all. Um, but overall, a great experience, and I know what to expect next time. On the day of the press conference, I had a lot of media to do um, with O2 because O2, I work for them and they are my sponsor now. So we had media to do with them and I told management, I said, it's okay, I've got a car, I can get round. And they were adamant, no, Shannon, <laughs> you, you can't use your own car. I was like, okay. So as I went to get out the door, the car came round and it had my logo on it, it had management's logo on it and it had a driver. And I was just wowed, I was just overwhelmed and again, just so grateful and so blessed. And that car took me around all day and it was just, it was just a nice feeling, you know, where you can relax. Um, and you're, you're being taken care of. So I was working at O2 for five years as full-time, and then I worked my way up to an assistant manager, which was amazing. But then February 2021 is when I asked to go part-time so I could focus more on the boxing because I knew I was gonna turn professional. However, I knew that I've had such a journey and such a story, and I thought, yes, I don't want to any individuals, but why can't we try? I literally finished a spa, went into another room, and had a Zoom call with Gareth, and I just kind of sold myself on, on that call and just said how it would benefit myself, but how it would benefit them. And I used that both to combine. And he was happy. And when we kind of got to a point of, yes, let's do it, that's when I got the management involved um, because that is what they do. They know more than me in that sector. And yeah, we managed to get a deal with O2. So they are now my main sponsor, um, which I'm super happy and super grateful for. So the day of the weigh-in, I wasn't nervous. Um, I was actually quite excited to get on the scales. Again, it's what I've seen on the TV from everyone else, and now it's me doing that. So I came in quite light. I came in at 50.8, which is actually flyweight, um, which is my natural division. Um, but the fight was scheduled at super flyweight, so I could have come in at 52, but I refueled um, and obviously weight went up a little bit. But yeah, overall, it's a fantastic experience. beginning of the week I wasn't feeling the nerves I was rolling with everything then I got a bit Shannon why are you not nervous because I'm always nervous before a fight so Friday comes and I'm nervous I couldn't sleep I had so much adrenaline and it gets to fight day and whenever I fight because fighting means so much to me I have so many emotions I could be crying with happy tears I could be just on my own I could be with everyone my emotions changed during that day and when it got to the actual fight time I was so buzzing so excited that I just went with it, you know. Walking into the arena whilst it's empty was, I really, I really like that because it gives you a feel of what it's gonna be like when you're in the ring. You have to zone out, you have to make sure, you have to pretend that no one's there, although you're gonna have so much noise. And I think me stepping into the ring as well um, before the fight really helped, you know, to get a feel of where I'm gonna be um, during the fight. But yeah, just the whole experience of just walking into that arena was, was yeah, 100% needed. When I walked out, I could hear everyone because I was the first fight on, which is fine. When you debut, that happens. And as you progress, you'll be later on. Um, but to have all those cheers as I was walking out was, was fantastic. And 
I just thank everyone who supported, whether they watched it from home or bought a ticket with their money. Um, just, yeah, thank you. I think the performance was solid for a debut. I displayed so many skills in four rounds, you know. Of course, I didn't, I didn't knock her out on this one, um, but that will come with time. And I think those four rounds, I showed that I can box, I can jab, I can move, I can defend. So everything matched up to the interviews that I had during the week. Boxing for me is expressing myself. So I just expressed my emotions, I felt my emotions, and then did what I had to do in the ring. Didn't show any nerves going in there. You found you established your jab early. Mm -hmm. You got into race straight away. You looked like you was enjoying yourself. Yeah, I did enjoy it, and the jab was key, so I had to use that first and then follow up after that. Congratulations on a brilliant debut. Thanks so much. Thank you. Nice to meet you. I'm very happy with my performance. I think on one interview I gave it uh, an 8.5, but I think it was a solid debut because you have to understand that you've had all that media, you've got the nerves. Um, again, I don't have um, a boxing background as such. I've come from another sport. And yes, I've had amateur fights, but the accolades aren't there as such as the elites and Harangay Box Cup due to COVID. So for me, I had to really put on a performance to show to everyone that I can do this and I do belong here. My coach was pleased, you know, he works day in, day out for me, you know, and I'm super grateful for him. Um, we've been working consistently for three and a half years now, you know, and hardly taken a day off. So I think when that fight happened and I just, and I fought how I did, he was so happy with the performance um, because a lot of what he has installed into me showed and shined and he was emotional, which I've never seen, um, but I know he was super proud and just so happy and, and I'm super proud of him because he's taking all his time and putting that into me and it just goes to show what consistency can do. I feel that the pressure is slightly off now because I've had my debut and I've displayed what I can do, um, but the pressure doesn't stop there. Now it's about climbing the ranks um, slowly but surely. I think obviously the fight comes first, the boxing and the win is the most important thing, but I'm really understanding boxing and I'm trying to understand boxing and boxing is a business and of course, I love to fight, but I also want to inspire others. And if I can do that through my ring, my ring walk or my outfit or my interviews, then that's what I want to do is really inspire the younger generation to kind of whatever you want to do, you can put that into anything. Um, and that's what I try to portray. So I'm keeping myself motivated now for the next fight because once I'd finished, I wanted to do it all over again. You know, that media week, um, the fight, the lead up, having everyone around, was such a nice and surreal feeling, you know, to have so much support um, and to keep yourself motivated is now you, to progress. I want to do um, more rounds, you know, I want to um, travel and just have, have more, more time to do it, you know. So I think keeping yourself motivated of making a next, having a next goal, um, creating a goal and then fulfilling that goal. I got goals of my own, I ain't trying to be like y'all. I'm a different kind of breed, I don't follow, I just need like. Yeah. Lead like, lead like. What's that? Nigga. I got goals of my own, I ain't trying to be like y'all. I'm yeah. a different kind of breed, I don't follow, I just lead like. 